Hi, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with the AP Physics 1 2017 free response questions. We're on the last question. So far, we've been doing pretty well. The last question, number four, kind of uh, made a pretty um, tricky uh, mistake on it, but uh, for the most part, um, the questions are not too bad. So this looks like a wave question. Question five, two wave pulses are traveling opposite directions on a string. The shape of the string at t equals zero is shown above. Each pulse is moving at the speed of one unit per second, the direction indicated. Between times t equals zero and five seconds, the entire left-hand pulse approaches and moves beyond point p on the string. On the chord below, show the plot of the velocity plot the velocity of the piece of string located at point p as a function of time between zero and five seconds. Okay, so what's going to happen is uh, after one second, uh, p hasn't moved. After so, let's kind of sketch it out. This is at second one, then at second two, then at second three, four, five. And then this thing, I don't think it makes it over there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it doesn't make it there. So P does, for the first second, it's zero. It's not moving. So it didn't move at all from here to here. From one to second two, which was this line here, it moved up. Okay, and it moved up one centimeter in one second. So one centimeter. In one second and I think it would be a uh, constant velocity right so P is just gonna move up and down once the wave comes it's gonna move up and one unit per second yeah it'll raise at a linear rate or no the velocity will be constant sorry so it's one centimeter per second so it's moving positive like that from two to three uh, sorry from zero to one is not moving one to two it's moving then two to three it continues up at the same velocity i think it hits the peak here so it's still moving up and then by um the fourth second it's dropped down let's see one two three it's at the pock so in the fourth second, you know, between three and four, it dropped all the way down to zero. It would drop two centimeters in one second. So it went down two centimeters in one second. And then it didn't move at all. So it does kind of like this. Yeah, okay. At t equals five, the pulses completely overlap. Does that make sense? So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it looks kind of like this. This is what the other wave will do. Um, sketch the shape of the entire string at five seconds. We do some practice scratching on the next page. You only you, so the next page has some like um, sketches you can do. So I'm doing it right up here just so you can kind of see. It's going to be this plus this. Okay. Now um, when they overlap, and now this guy goes um, at a slope from zero to minus four over two units, so his slope is negative two. This slope is two over one. So that means like the this part and this part are the same slope and they cancel each other out, right? So, um, and, and this overlap happens um, one unit over at P. So it starts here and then for one unit, this upward sloper and the downward slope completely cancel each other out. So it's like that. Then from here to here, um, it's still going down like this, um, but now this is moving kind of at a downward slope. So if I add these points together at minus two, that's zero. And then from here to here, I'm at minus four to um, pl plus one. Minus four plus one is minus three. So the next unit is down at minus three here. And that part is linear, right? Because it's just, I'm adding two lines. Then at this point, we're adding these two together. Um, 
and they just simply converge together back to zero at the next point. So it's whatever that is. So it should look like that. And then it's zero everywhere else. So you kind of just numerically add whatever your favorite way to add those two points numerically is, is, is kind of the way I, I, I structured that one. And that's it on that question. So that question is actually pretty short. Um, it's just a question of whether or not you can diagram out wave superpositions and movements and stuff. So let's look at the scoring guideline. Okay, this is the picture and two units over down to minus three and up to there. Two units over down to minus three yeah, and up to there. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, everything looks right. So we got full credit for that one. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the 2017 AP Physics 1 free response questions. I didn't ace the thing, but I got like most of the points and I knew how to solve most of them and I at least understood the reasoning. So uh, I hope you did find it helpful. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe. And I will see you on the next physics uh, videos, um, probably 2016. All right, thanks.